Hello guys, in this video, let's talk about connections for live streaming. As we have seen in the previous chapters, to produce a high quality live streaming, you need to have the right equipment and the equipment needed for live streaming includes cameras, audios, computer, internet connection, encoder, streaming platforms, lighting and tripods or a camera stand. Now here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to connect all this equipment in order for you to have a successful live streaming so that you can also see what you need and what you won't be needing and you can also gauge with the kind of live streaming that you want to do whether you're going to be needing some of these things or not. All right, the first step is not really like a connection but it's something that I want to bring forward. The first step is to understand what kind of live streaming you want to do. Is it a live event? Are you trying to live stream a church service or is it a gameplay or is it a business marketing? or is it a news broadcast and so on. Now, after you understand what kind of live streaming you are about to do or you are intending to do or you want to do, uh, the next step is not really like a connection as well, but is choosing the right platform where you want to live stream to. The most popular options include YouTube Live, Facebook Live, Twitch, and Instagram Lives, or to a custom website. So choose a platform that best suits your audience and content. And after you have an idea of which platforms you're gonna live stream to, the next step is to set up your equipment. Now this is where the connection starts. So make sure your camera, microphone, and other equipment are set and ready to go. Now, in terms of setup, this is how I usually do it. The first thing I do is to connect an external sound to my camera or connect an external sound to your camera or directly to your computer. I start with the sound itself. This depends on what type of microphone you are using and the type of live streaming that you are doing. After you figure out how you're gonna connect the sound or after you connect the sound to your camera or to the computer directly that you're gonna use for live streaming, the next step is to connect your camera to your capture card using an HDMI cable. Then connect your capture card to your computer using a USB cable. Make sure your computer recognizes the capture card. But if your camera has got a built-in encoder like a webcam or the Sony A6000 that I gave you as an example earlier, you can skip the capture card part and just connect your camera directly to your computer using a USB. Once you have the video and audio feed recognized by your computer, the next thing is to set up your streaming software. There are several softwares available for live streaming, including OBS Studio, Wirecast, uh, Vmix, StreamYards, and many others. In this course, I'm gonna show you how to live stream using Vmix, OBS Studio, and uh, StreamYards step-by-step -step from the beginning to the end. So choose the one that best suits your needs and set it up on your computer. Configure the software to connect to the platform that you have chosen, the platform that you are intending to live stream to. Once you have set up your software and it is connected to the platform where you want to live stream to, configure your settings. This includes choosing your video and audio sources, adjusting your video quality and the resolution that you want to live stream in, and so on. I'm gonna show you exactly what settings you must configure and how to configure them step by step in a later chapter. After everything has been configured, before you go live, test your live stream. This will allow you to ensure that everything is working properly and make any necessary adjustment if there is any. Once you have tested your stream and everything is working properly, it is now time for you to go live. Just click start streaming button in the software that you have chosen and your stream will be broadcasted to the platform that you have chosen, whether it is Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or LinkedIn. So those are just the general steps that you take whenever you are connecting for the live streaming, but I'm gonna show you the actual connections later in the video. So as I conclude on this chapter, connecting a live streaming involves choosing a platform, setting up your equipment, connecting your camera and encoder, setting up your streaming software, configuring your settings, testing your stream before you go live and then going live if everything is okay. By following these steps, you can produce a high quality live stream and engage with your audience in real time. I'm gonna go through all these steps, which exactly settings you need to do in later chapters. But for now, let's look at something else in the next topic.